Good afternoon, my beautiful, sexy men and women. It's me, your host, the Renegade Exploder, back at it again with another video. Um, today I am bringing you Neko Para Volume Uno. You know, I also have a, a special guest, my friend, my my bestest friend. Hey guys, um, I'm Billy. My channel is The Synapse. It's the for real shiz. Come subscribe to me. I'm live streaming on Twitch right now and recording at the same time. I'm playing Nekopara as well. So we're probably going to like alternate on the uh, on the dialogue, I'm assuming. So we'll see where this goes from here, Jesse. Yeah, are you ready to do this shit? Boy, I was born ready. All right, game start. Wait a minute, did you turn the bounciness all the way up? Yes, of course I did. Oh. <gasps> You're not supposed to say it in Japanese, Jesse. <laughs> you just read it in English, but you got to give it like a like an accent or something. Whew. This should be most of the boxes and Where the fuck are you? <laughs> I'm at the uh, the store, I'm already on the next slide. What are you doing with your life? What the hell are you doing? You no no. You have to wait till I get there. Thank you very much. I'm heading out now. That's what you needed to do, Jesse. Since I I guess I'll go first. All right. So you're on. What are you on? I'm on. Phew. This should be most of the boxes then. What the. Why are you so ahead of me? I don't know. Oh, there you go. You you skipped one. All right, so you do it. Oh wow. I think Koshu. No, no this, Koshu is a guy. This be most of the... <laughs> You're fucking up my video. <laughs> Phew, okay. This should be most of the boxes then. See, by now my viewers could have already read this. That's great. So. I'm trying to hire you. Okay. Hold up. Alright. I wipe the sweat off my forehead with my arm. Something like that. Or maybe a better accent, I don't know. So it's your turn now. As the moving truck disappeared from view. Although it was early April and only the beginning of spring, Today's weather was quite nice. It was even a bit hot. Mm, hot. Well, it's a good day for a new start. I turned my head to look at the empty bakery, which didn't even have a signage yet. Who doesn't have signage? <laughs> what is this? Anyway, so... I think we should change it up. I sh we should play, uh, we should assign roles to characters, so I should have a character and you should have a character. Okay. Well, I mean, clearly, I think our viewers can read both, read and hear. I mean, what if they're doing something else and they're just listening to it, like a podcast, Jesse? This should just be common. Okay. Okay. So, are you gonna do the main, uh, the main protagonist? Fuck that, dude. I'm doing, uh, wait, do I like ch Yeah, I like chocolate. I'm um, doing yeah. vanilla then, and okay, we'll, we'll, sp we'll split the protagonist half and half. Okay. Okay. So, okay. uh, I turn my head to look at the empty bakery, which I have- Okay, no, 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 I see that. The brand new exterior wall had a western look with a predominantly white and brown modif? Is that a word? Oh, modifier. There was also a large window, which let out lots, which let lots of sunlight in? Whoa. I mean, you know, large windows do bring a lot of sunlight in, Jesse. I mean, we can clearly see it. It's marvelous. It's not really a large Drawing. window at all, but you know, whatever. Yeah, it's like, yeah. Hold up. Okay. And finally, there were words that displayed the name of the bakery. La 
So, so that I can't pronounce that. Solia. La Solel. La Solel. I think. Instead of the proper French article, Le, it was La Solel, meaning the sun. Ooh. I should be taking a French, French class. But no, you're not taking anything as of right now. Exactly. Very good question. Are, are you going to read? Oh. I softly murmured to myself. From here on out, no one would tell me what to do. Bitch, read it again! <laughs> From here on out, no one would tell me what to do. <laughs> I was going to start a, start completely anew, despite the st stature of my family's name and everything that had happened to me up until now. What, it, what had happened to him, Jesse? I alone would decide my path and take responsibility for what I would do. In exchange for, for for that freedom, I can't blame anyone else for what happens. Fuck me, fat. You I mean, can't, fat. I, no, I'm trying to, you know, get it to where my PC doesn't burn. What? In the exchange for that freedom, I can't blame anyone else for what happens. Still, although I was a bit worried. The thought of what lay ahead of me break uh, into a, made me break into a smile. I think he meant lie. All right. I'm not a grammar Nazi or anything. Oh, all right. In any case, I better get all these things cleaned up. I took a deep breath and I got up. Oh. <laughs> I took a deep breath and got my spirits back up. I stepped into the new smelling bakery. <laughs> <sighs> and made an orgasm noise, just as if. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> you know what? You can read the main protagonist. I I got this part. What? I want vanilla. I have chocolate. Okay. Oh, yeah, I know, but I still want vanilla. I can't handle two people on my own. Fine. I'll you know. Fine. Hmm. What's with this big box? Is that a good voice? Yeah. In front of me was a large box I didn't recognize. In fact, there were two of them. Fragile, delicate. Absolute this side up. If thrown, your company will be in trouble. Okay, <laughs> I've never seen that on a box before. Um, these warnings were going overboard. They were getting annoying. Even if the... Even if these are baking supplies, I don't remember buying any quite like this. First off, there are boxes that look like they came from my house. If these were for the bakery, there's no way I would remember buying them. Exactly. There were, <laughs> there were no tags from the moving company either. Suspicious, quite. All there was were those warning labels. Damn warning labels. Ah, damn. God darn. Well, I'll know for sure once I open the... <laughs> huh? 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 I gotta be very quiet. Do the meow, Do the Jesse. Meow. <laughs> Okay, I'm waiting for my part of the dialogue, or yours, I don't know. Oh, is that just a cat? Huh. Just a troublesome cat. Jeez. <laughs> Phew. Thank goodness. Looks like that fold him. That was close. Chocolate better be careful now. Oh, that's me! Now. That's me! That was me. No, because it that was close. Chocolate no, better be careful they now. They speak to themselves in third person. Have you not noticed that? Oh, they're sp they speak to... <laughs> they do? Yeah. Oh, they're okay. Arnold Schwarzenegger everything. <laughs> give, give an example of your uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger voice. Get to the chopper. <laughs> Get to the chopper. Get to the chopper. Oh. 
Get down. Get down. Um. Uh, like that would fool me. What are you doing, Chocola? <laughs> I I just said my line before you. I thought you were done. We just saw, oh, we just saw each other at home yesterday, you know? Well, um, that is true, Chocla guesses. <laughs> Wait, how do I turn this off? Oh, gosh, I just clicked. Oh. Uh, Quick save, save, hold up. Because I'm trying to, uh... uh more importantly than that, listen up. Those movers were really mean. So they were picking up Chocla, right? And they said, this box is heavy, so be careful with it. Chocla wanted to hiss at them all of a sudden. Chocla really did. Chocla did her best to control her temper, but Chocla was fuming, you know. Absolutely fuming. Well, compared to the rest of my things, you are heavy. What is that supposed to mean? In what area? She ignored what I said. Chocolate puffed out her cheeks. Wait, no, you be the you be like the the main narrator, dude. Chocolate puffed out her cheeks. You could say that she was always happy-go-lucky, or rather, she preoccupied herself with only what was in front of her, like my massive song. Well, I guess that was how you would describe Chocolate. While I was getting ready to move, I did wonder why I didn't see you. Achi! Should Achi. I do that? Is that a good one? Ye. Achi! Oh. <laughs> the camera just went, what the hell? Hmm. Hey. I love my voice acting. It's. Is it still fucking going? I'm going to assume it's still going. I got nothing but a fucking white screen, so... I'm gonna assume it's still going. I don't know if I should... Wait, did you do chocolate in a girl voice? Yeah, you did. Uh, somewhat. Long time no see, master. Oh, is that good? I yeah. guess. Yeah! You knew it was good. Is it, the, the Twitch chat is fucked already. I mean, Twitch is already fucked over. The internet here is complete ass. We're not getting any, any better. My nose was itchy because the inside of the moving truck was dusty. Why is Vanilla here too? Wherever Chocolate is, I am too. Besides, cat girls don't dislike tight spaces. I also, also, they said this box is heavy, so be careful with it. In regards to me too. So I was also mad. Just steaming. Again? Huh? In any case, Chocola Vanilla, get out of there. <laughs> Is that your turn? I was at my wit's end with the large boxes that had suddenly shown up. Anyhow, Chocola and Vanilla got out of their boxes. We all know what time it is for now. Oh, it's my turn. Is Why line? is no one picking up the phone? Just what is Shigir doing? What the fuck is Shigir? <laughs> I hung up after trying to call my little sister. Beautiful. There was no way that Chocolate and Vanilla could have gotten mixed in with the rest of the boxes in the first place. On the outside, cat girls look almost like humans. They can understand words and just talk like us. But more than humans, cat girls were closer to normal cats. After all, cat girls had eels and ears and tails just like cats do. Eels? <laughs> wow! Eels. What wow! A... <laughs> they were genetically modified humanoid cats that were commonly referred to as cat girls. Whoa. These days, cat girls fit into society as pets and families or partners to humans. Ooh. Ooh. My sister really loves to dot, to dote on cat girls. So our family has six. Including chocolate and vanilla. Jesus, six? In any case, they couldn't have mailed themselves all on their own. Dude, that's a harem. <laughs> I know. Mail 
mailing living things to the post would be impossible, for one thing. There's no way my parents would have helped with this either. Thus, I can only guess that this somehow was Shigiri's doing. I see, so Shigiri was an accomplice then. Hmm. The plot is developing. <laughs> Meow, this is a really pretty home. Uh, I don't know how to turn this dialogue off. Chocolate really likes the smell of new bedding and furniture. It's bigger than it looks. Perfect for Master's abilities. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Vanilla, over here. Let's take a look at that room. Time to explore. Oh gosh, she just did a little jump. <laughs> oh, from where it is, I suspect that it is a bedroom. Master's new bed must be there. Meow. We can it's not. Let's go snuggle in it. Snuggle time. <laughs> Snuggling acknowledged. That is that is fine by me. With that decided, let's go. No, don't get out of control and don't hurt yourselves. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Without any ill intentions, the two cat girls were off and running. Well, Do the bakery did have living quarters on the second floor, so I wasn't worried about them causing a ruckus around here. Of course, they aren't young cat girls anymore, so I shouldn't have to worry about them getting out of control too much. You should do your uh, your narration voice. Uh, what was the one that we, we used last time? We, we were at school when we did what, it. My, my PC principal? Oh, try, use your P what's your PC principal? Do it. To your PC All right, class, we ain't gonna stand up for this misogyny. <laughs> I don't know. Mm. Do like uh, the mayor of Powerpuff Girls in the city of Townsville, something like I that. I looked up an address in my phone's address book. <laughs> okay, we'll continue. Well, besides that, I looked up an address in my phone's. A oh, that's me. You mean that was me? Yeah, I mean that was you. Menaduki residence. Oh, that was you. Well, I already left Shigiri a message, so she could call me back later. Oh, Shigiri's a uh, Koshu's sister, Kashu. Right? Without pressing the call button, I put my cell phone back in my pocket. I had moved out without saying anything, so for her to call me back within the day seemed a bit stupid. Well. It wasn't really an issue I needed to bring up right this moment. I should refer... I should hear from Shingir soon, anyhow. Oh. Oh my oh. god. We finished snuggling on Master's bed. I was literally doing the same thing. <laughs> pee 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 pee. <laughs> The new bed is very fluffy. It gets a passing score. Meep. I'm just kidding. I didn't do that. <laughs> Good work, you two. Oh, was that their mission? I guess. Gosh, both of you have major bedhead. Sheesh. Where the hell is the bedhead there? Yeah, where the hell is the bedhead? Chua. Chocolo loves it when Master rubs her head. It feels so good. <laughs> Am I rubbing your head good enough? I have no objections to this. More. That's you, Jesse. I tidied up their hair with a comb. Oof. So now I he's a hair groomer. Nice as always. I lightly bumped them both on the head while they had their eyes closed. Now then, why were the two of you hiding among my moving boxes? You said you wouldn't bring us with you. So we had no choice. Chocolate said she was going, so I tagged along. You had no choice. Just tagged along. You two? Well, I figured that had to be the reason, but... 
Anyhow, I recomposed myself and looked at the two of them again. Listen up, okay? How many times have I told you to, this isn't a vacation or a picnic? I moved out because I had no intention of going back there. If you were at home, you wouldn't have anything to worry about. Shigiri and the other cat girls are there too. It would be better if you ju to just... Uh, what the hell just happened? The, that's not it. It's just that, um... Chocolate stomach is being rebellious, so that's not it. Really? <laughs> Master moved out really early in the morning, so there was no time to eat breakfast. The sound of chocolate stomach rumbling is cute always. Er, anyways, yeah. While listening to those silly excuses, I glanced at the clock and saw that it was already past one o'clock. Now that I figured, now that I thought about it. I haven't eaten anything since this morning, either. Well, why don't you have lunch first, then? <clears throat> Jesse. <Yay. laughs> Food. Chocola loves Master. Understanding as ever, Master, we're in your debt. Mm. These two are as easygoing as always. Give a woman food, she'll love you for life. We're getting fired up, meow. But, um. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, click the subscribe button and like button. It really helps me out. Uh, there'll be more Nekapara videos to come. This is just first of many. Uh, I'm also working on drawing tutorials, so just gotta get a little bit better at drawing. Comment down below what you want, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.